Hello, twirling friends. Here's a combination that I think is great for new twirlers to try, to try to control the baton from the end. So we spend a lot of time twirling from the center. We're gonna do some of those tricks that we learn in our basics from the end of the baton and see if we can control it while we do this combination. So we're gonna start by doing a flash or a flourish from the end of the baton. And that simply is just bringing that baton down, up, doing that loop behind the head. Now, once we get it up to the top, so if I face the same direction you are, my baton goes down, over, up, looped behind me. And I always tell my students to think of trying to flip your ponytail. Once that ponytail has been flipped, I'm gonna bring my arms down to the T, then I'm gonna bring them to behind my heels, and then I'm gonna bring my baton up and let it do a full loop around. That's actually really challenging for new twirlers. So if you need to stop there and just try that part, go for it. But if you wanna to try to add something on, then add on a toss from the end of the baton. And you can add all kinds of things to that. You can put your arm out and make that a, what we call an over the rainbow toss where you're tossing the baton from one side of the arm and catching it in the up on the other side of the arm. You can do body work underneath it. You can add a spin. You can do all kinds of different variations, catch it in different ways. Um, but what that combination looks like is that flash, then the loop behind, then the toss from the end of the baton. Also, don't forget to try that in your left hand. So you're doing a left hand flash, a left loop behind, and then into that um, toss from the end of the baton. So try it in both hands and see if you can get it nice and smooth and really fast and add your own variations to it.